up, Aqua Gang? What it do? Y'all already know what time it is. It's your girl, Life of Pinky, and I am back again with another reading for the Aqua Collective, my Aqua Gang, Aqua Family. What it do? Y'all see, it's the 22nd, Saturday, the 22nd. I just got off of work. And I actually got to um, run out the door, but I was like, let me do this reading for them real quick before I leave. So we're just going to do a little energy check-in, a little weekend vibe check in we're gonna see what's going let's use the lights here we're gonna pop it off should we pop it off with tarot i feel like i should get some worded messages first some messages from spirit first this is what i am hearing i like the messages Alrighty. Spirit, what is the energy surrounding the Aquarius Collective at this time? What's the energy surrounding the collective? The Aquarius Collectives. What is the current energy surrounding the Aquarius Collectives? Who's the cards? What's the current energy? What's the current energy surrounding the Aquarius Collective Spirit? Oh. A lot of energy. So we got Eclipse at the bottom. Eclipse. Something could be happening for you guys during the next Eclipse. I don't know. What is that that they wanted me to see? Worsome. Somebody worsome. Worrisome. Somebody worsome. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all take it for what it is. Recognition, Aquarius. So some of you could be getting recognized, if not all of you. Some of you are being recognized at this time. You're getting a recognition that you deserve, you know. Could be at work, could be at home. Could be whatever you do. You're getting recognized for the for the work that you do. Yes, honey. Down to earth. You're very down to earth at this time or you're showing that you're trying to be down to earth. You're trying to get grounded or maybe you need to get down to earth, get grounded, stay grounded because this recognition is going to take you places you ain't been ready for or you ain't prepared for. So, Get down to earth. Get grounded. Boyfriend or girlfriend. So your boyfriend or your girlfriend could be of significance. Or if you don't have a boyfriend or girlfriend, then that message may not be for you. Or this is the energy surrounding you. Somebody want to be your boyfriend or your girlfriend. I don't know. We also have driven. So you guys are very driven at this time. You're driven towards a goal. You're focused. Intelligent. You're very focused on trying to make this happen. Your boyfriend or girlfriend could be worse than I just heard. Because they standing in your way or somebody standing in your way. Boyfriend or girlfriend. And if you know your nerves is like you're driven, you're driving. <laughs> they driving you crazy. I don't know. I know you're very driven at this time, Aquarius. You're trying to get something done. You're trying to accomplish something, but it's like shit keep getting in your way. Stay grounded. Get back down to earth. Come back down to earth. Y'all know we aliens, so <laughs> y'all know they swear us Aquarius, we weird and shit. You know, we always in another galaxy somewhere, so <laughs> I don't know, y'all. Get back down to earth, four of wands. This is, could be um, about your stability. You could be wanting to, you know, become more stable in your situations. And that's what you're focused on right now. Spirit, what else do we have for the Aquarius Collectives? What's the current energy surrounding the Aquarius Collectives at this time? What's the current energy surrounding the Aquarius Collectives at this time? What's the current energy? Y'all, I feel so sick. What's the current energy like? Nauseous. What's the current energy surrounding the Aquarius at this time? We got the Eight of Cups. We got the Six of Cups, and we got the Ten of Pentacles. Didn't I tell y'all, focus on your bag, honey. You're walking away from shit that no longer fulfills you. You're withdrawing or retreating from this shit. You're moving on, period. You could have felt abandoned or someone feels abandoned, abandonment. You're abandoning a situation. This could be about a child or your childhood, Six of Cups. Somebody from the, some, something or somebody from the past is coming back up. This piece about nostalgia, this could also be a gift. You walking away is a gift. 
And we got the Ten of Pentacles, honey. Leaving behind legacies or, you know, working on leaving behind a legacy for your family. Creating generational wealth. Coming into some type of inheritance. Could be retiring, early retirement. You're going to be able to leave a legacy behind. Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. For what you don't see. Nightmares, anxiety, grief, depression, anger, fear, worrisome worrisome thoughts that's what y'all going through some words and thoughts Spirit, tell me more about the eight of cups tell me more about the eight of cups for the aquarius that's the eight of cups here king of swords yeah because y'all stood up for what you believed in period you're very intentional with the way you move now you're strategic your thoughts are more strategic you're a leader now you're leading yourself down the right path what's at the bottom page of swords yeah somebody could be watching you this is with the recognition card showing up. They're recognizing that you are a leader or you're, you know, you're a leader, period. You're a boss, king, queen, facts, king of swords, very intentional leader. So you could be leading a pack. There's crows in this card, birds, dragonflies. Is that a bat? That's a bat. Style, wisdom very intelligent very intelligent but we already know that page of swords you're being watched this is about somebody spying prying gossiping but you know who it is look how you looking that's why you don't walk off because you know who it is you don't walk away from anybody or anything that's showing you anything less than you know authentic you feel me if that makes sense Tell me more about the Six of Cups. This could be somebody you grew up with. This card is, you know, a man and his dog, and he reminiscing on when they were younger together. So this could be somebody that you grew up with. That's in your energy spirit. Tell me more about the Six of Cups. more about the six of cups why is the six of cups here nine of wands yep you know who it is that's why you standing in your power honey you ain't see that nausea coming up oh, that was a bird but you're you're standing in your power you're keep keeping and maintaining or is it hiccups excuse me y'all keep it and maintain your distance or your boundaries you got your wall up, got your guard up. I'm sorry, y'all. I just keep burping and going on. Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. There's a victory coming and you know it. You know it. That's why you got your guard up. Or you need to go ahead and put your guard up around this situation. Whoever this person is from your past or somebody that you grew up with. This could be family. This could be friends. Boyfriend or girlfriend. I don't know. But yeah, nine of wands, you're definitely maintaining, keeping and maintaining your boundaries, honey. You got your guard up, protecting yourself against the bullshit. Look at her, protected. Look at this. Look at them wands protecting her down there. Protected. You understand? You're protected. Your steps are protected. And it's like she being guided by a beacon or a light on the top of the wand. Yeah. With the six of ones at the bottom of the deck, baby, there's victory coming. I'm talking about right around the corner. You hear me? Reward, recognition again. Good, good news, good success. You're going to be recognized for your success. You're going to be praised. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. <coughs> Going after your bag, honey. Moving towards the bag. Moving um, resiliently, though. You know what I mean? Like, not moving too fast. You're very reliable at this time, or you're reliant on the situation. Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. You could be walking away from this poverty or worry or needing to let go of these worrisome thoughts. Look at his. That shit giving him a headache. That shit giving him a headache. All them damn bad thoughts. That shit giving him a headache. 
the five of swords child at the bottom of the deck but the knight of pentacles is telling me you're you know you good wherever you go the money will follow so it's okay to walk away it's okay to keep your guard up it's okay to keep your guard up with this person because wherever you go the money will follow so if you worried about the money baby if you worried about the money baby the money's not a problem the money is not the issue it's your thought process it's your thoughts it's your thoughts this could be an abusive relationship somebody could be an abusive relationship this speaks about violence and theft bullies that's baby the way y'all recognition and the way your success is going the way you you know you just the bag follow you people try to figure out how you how you get to where you at because you know what to do you move right you move strategically you move strategically because wherever you go the bag will follow you don't know why because you're intentional you're strategic everything you do has a reason a purpose you ain't out here just doing shit for fun spirit tell me more about the ten of pentacles the lovers and what hit the flow somebody oh girl we about to knock the whole table the chariot and the lovers and we got death and rebirth at the bottom of the deck now y'all ain't got no major arcana in a minute i don't think i'm lying because the tower card came out oh no that might have been in my personal anyway y'all we got the chariot and the lovers 76 67 7 and 6 somebody could be younger than the other person i don't know take it i resonate we're dealing with a gemini or a cancer but the ten of pentacles is here because honey you need to move towards this situation move towards you know letting go death and rebirth restarting could be dealing with the Scorpio. This is about endings and transition and change. New beginnings, honey. A clean sweep. Clearing out the old. So you could be clearing out a Cancer or a Gemini. I'll take it how it resonates. But with the lover showing up, it's, it's letting me know that you have a choice to make about this legacy, about this financial wealth that you want, about this generational wealth that you're trying to build. You have a choice or a decision to make about the relationships and the friendships and, you know, the partnerships that you have around you. With the chariot here, you're very driven. That's we we know that. This is victory, honey. Achievement. You're achieving your goals. When you're when you're when you're on your path to success, your your journey to success, nothing can stop you. Determined, honey. You have the willpower to make this shit happen for you and your family, your friends, your loved ones. This is about growth. Balancing, you know, your desires with the desires of others with the wants of others being able to balance out situations i don't know <clears throat> this is about loyalty maybe that's what you're looking for but the death and rebirth here there's definitely an ending coming a change some type of transition something that's gonna you know how about a shake the room this could be y'all shaking the motherfucking room this is a change for the better though Aquarius so don't worry be happy you feel me don't worry be happy Aquarius we gonna put some kipper down I can't stay at the table too long today y'all because I gotta run don't worry be happy I don't know where I just heard that from well I don't know why I just heard that let me say that what else do we have for the Aquarius Collectives? What energy surrounding the Aquarius Collectives at this time? Some of y'all could be running away from love. Run away, love. Run away, love. Yeah, because you're concerned about something, Aquarius. I don't know where the concern is coming from. 33 could be of significance. <laughs> main male at the bottom of the deck, main female. Some of you could be concerned. With this main male, this main female, maybe, you know, you're not getting what you thought she was going to get. It's not giving what it was supposed to give. So you had to get the fuck on. You had to make an intentional or strategic thought, strategic plan to get up out that situation. And now either you're concerned or the motherfucker that you left in that situation is concerned. <laughs> Girl, what 
what else do we have for the Aquarius? The other what else? message yeah somebody gonna be sending you a message you're gonna get some results or some type of test results this could be official documents in the mail official letter in the mail you could be concerned with what this letter is gonna say with the number seven here though i'm feeling like it's not you know it's not gonna be a bad thing and if it if it is something like challenging i feel like you'll be able to get over it get past it get through it with the death and rebirth here yeah this could be a good change Change at the bottom of the deck. It's going to be a message about you changing. Or you could be getting um, documents like a, approval letters. You could be changing location. Spirit, what energy is surrounding the Aquarius at this time? What is the energy surrounding the Aquarius Collective? We got community. Yeah. Could be you could be getting a message from your community about your community messaging sending messages to the community some type of community you could be leaving messages with the community or on the community community post they're very happy with you they're pleased they see you as an official person or you are an official person you could be an official person in your community or you're officially the first person in your community to do something. Okay, let's get two more. Marriage. You could be in married. You could be you could be the first person in your community to get married. I don't know. Take out resonate. We got marriage on the on the table, on the board. We got pathway. So, like I said, this journey that you're on could be leading you leading you towards this marriage, leading you towards your lover, your love life, your commitment, your your legacy, your you know, family situation. Marriage. Legacy, generational wealth, leaving behind keys, deeds, and LLCs. You feel me? Yeah, you on the right path, Aquarius. Stay the course. Unexpected income and sudden wealth. And we got distant horizons at the bottom of the deck. 1127. That could be of significance. But I told y'all the number seven. We got seven here. We got three sevens here. We got a seven here. I don't know, y'all. Seven, seven, seven. Solid niggas rolling. Period. So we got unexpected income and sudden wealth. And we got distant horizons at the bottom of the deck. There's nothing more for me to say. Y'all got unexpected income coming in. You're suddenly going to have this wealth out of nowhere. This could be an inheritance. Inheritance that I spoke on. Or, you know, you just in your bag. Period. You in your bag, Aquarius. And can't nobody stop you. Shit. I wish they would try. I wish they would try to damn stop you. Let's get some Rebel Deck. Stop sleeping so damn much. Wake up. You are missing some cool shit. So some of y'all could be sleeping too much. It's time to get out the bed. Get out the bed. Put that work in. Get in your bag. Yeah, lightning bolt. Figure shit out on your own. Stop going to other motherfuckers to figure shit out for you. Figure it out first, and then maybe if you need an opinion or some type of advice, then you go get that. Don't just go to a motherfucker. Now, spirit, do you want them to get up? Stop texting. Stop talking. Stop checking on that person. Just fucking stop. Spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness, period. So whoever whoever you dragging and, and tagging and, and, and ragging, honey, let them go. And then they say get some fucking sleep. You are being an ass because you are fucking tired face to pillow now. So that could be for somebody else. Somebody's sleeping too motherfucking much. Or you sleeping at the wrong goddamn time. And some of y'all ain't getting enough motherfucking sleep. You giving your power away. You giving away your power. I told y'all reclaim your power. Here, one more. Winning. Period. That's the only one I needed. That's the only one I needed for y'all. Because I can't explain it no more. Winning. You're winning. You got a good thing going. Don't ruin that shit. Aquarius, stay the course. Period. Stay on the path. You're on the right fucking path. 
It's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. Get your head out of your ass pronto. That was at the bottom of the deck. At the top, we got don't fucking force it. Allow that shit to come to you. Don't force it. Allow that shit to come to you. And that card just fell on the floor. See what I mean? All the way over here. Don't force it, Aquarius. Allow that shit to come to you. Your sudden wealth, your unexpected income in the distant horizons. Don't force it. It's coming. It's coming. When I tell you it's coming, it's coming, Aquarius, and you ain't going to be able to stop it. You ain't going to be able to stop it. You ain't going to be able to stop it. We're going to close it out with some believing your own magic. Do you believe in magic? Alrighty. What should we do self-care? I feel like I want to do both. I feel like I want to do both. Or we could do some work your own life. I don't know, y'all. We're gonna see, though. We're 21 minutes in. We ain't that far in. Here, what else do we have for the Aquarius Collective? Stars. Period. Period, Aquarius. The fucking star. Facts. Stars. You can manifest your every wish. Number five. You can manifest your every wish, Aquarius. You are the star. Period. So it ain't shit else to say. Protest. Start a revolution, honey. Shake some shit up. How about I shake the room? Facts. Y'all gonna shake the motherfucking room up? Shake the motherfucking universe? I don't know. Shake your house? I don't know. Somebody gonna be shocked. Somebody ain't gonna be able to take this shit. I'm dropping cards. We got sundress. Do it for you, Aquarius. Number five again. Do it for you, Aquarius. Don't do it for nobody else. And number 10, forgive. Red. So red could be of significance for somebody. Forgive. We got 5 plus 5 equals 10. Make it make sense, y'all. <laughs> and then we got 15 at the bottom of the deck. Garden. Something lovely will grow from this, Aquarius. Something lovely will grow from this. So keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep going forward. Stay the course. I don't know how, how many times I got to keep saying that to y'all. I keep hearing it. Stay the course. Stay on your path. Stay on your journey. Stay in your chariot and keep riding. Some of y'all could be getting a new car. Driving. You driving a new car. Or some of y'all could be driving new cars. Okay, we're going to close it out with the sacred self-care. I feel like, yeah. Spirit, what do we have for the Aquarius Collective? The final message. What's the final message for the Aquarius Collective? Okay, we got three. Dream journal. Some of y'all definitely need to journal your dreams. Your dreams could be of significance. We kept seeing the moon the other day, so moon card. I kept saying something about your dreams, your vision. So definitely get you a dream journal. Or are you even sleeping? <laughs> That's what that's what they say in the car. Are you sleeping? We also have make an altar. You definitely need to make an altar at this time, Aquarius. Number 16, number 20, number 16. Make an altar. Make an altar, Aquarius. Go sit at your altar. Go talk to your ancestors and your spirit guides. Angels, ancestors, the bottom of my light, honey. All of that. The bottom of my light. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm trying to say. My eye itching. I'm I'm I need to get up because I don't know what's going on. But yeah, Aquarius, clear energy field. Number 10, again, going on top of number 10. That's crazy. Clear your energy field, Aquarius. Get you some sage. Burn some sage. Burn some Palo Santo. Burn some honey something. Incense. Clear your energy. Clear your space. Clear your aura. Sit down. Take a spiritual bath. Let, I think last time we saw aromatherapy. And at the bottom of the deck, we got alone time. Spend some time alone, Aquarius. Number two. Spend some time alone. Somebody's birthday could be February 2nd. Take it how it resonates. But spend some time alone, Aquarius. You don't need nobody in your energy, in your, in your face, in your space. Stressing you the fuck out. Spend some time by yourself, Aquarius. I, wanna, I really want to end this, but I keep hearing messages. Spirit, what else do we have for the Aquarius? One more, Spirit. One more card. Let's see. Okay. 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 We dropping them. Okay. Let's get it together. I got to make these bigger. <laughs> ASAP. I'll probably do that this weekend. Go ahead and get these ordered. 
what is this liar 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 somebody's lying aquarius and you know who it is lion lion leo the lion it's time to show them the real you somebody here could be a leo rising or you have a leo placement leo highly aspected liar 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 though you you sense who this liar is you know who the fuck the liar is you're beautiful just the way you are aquarius don't let nobody tell you shit different you handsome you look the fuck good just the way you are i'm a queen and you will address me as such or i'm a king and you will address me as such and those are facts those are facts don't let a motherfucker play with you don't let a motherfucker play in your energy clear your energy field spend some time alone make an altar sit and talk to your ancestors secret lover this could be your secret lover or something about your secret lover you you got a secret lover i don't know but at the bottom of the deck we got fuck them it's time to boss up it's time to boss up period fix your credit girl get at it get your bag up hit that gym and get back fine go get that degree go girl yeah unlock potential that you didn't know you had in you fuck that nigga hey Period, Aqua Gang. See, I'm feeling it now. I'm feeling good. Now I can end it. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here, you guys. I love you, love you, love you so much. I got to get out of here. Um, So I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to comment down below. Like, share, subscribe. All that good stuff. Honey, baby. I <laughs> I don't know what else to say. What was I finna say? Oh, shout out to all my new subscribers. I fuck with y'all. Whistle. Period. Okay? We get a little loud. We get a little ratchet. We get a little alley over here. If you don't like that, then, you know, maybe this ain't the channel for you. We love you all the same. Anyway, Aqua Gang. It's Aquarius season. What the aquas act up for no reason. Hey, it's Aquarius season. What the aquas act up for no reason. Okay, I forgot I didn't sing the song for y'all today. Anyway, you guys, I love you. I will see you in the next one. Peace, love, and light. Peace out.